Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. Fresh off that awesome last run with Isaac, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take that motherfucker again and we're gonna get started here on the cellar part one. It's nice to not have to start with a, uh, you know, the floor with two item rooms. Both of which require keys. An XL floor would be a better way to put it. But yeah, if you missed the last run, definitely go check that out. It's one of the more unique and powerful runs I've had in a long time. I don't want to spoil anything in case you haven't seen it, but you know. Go back and check that out for sure. Uh, it's a lot of fun to make. And you don't get item combinations like that a lot of the time. So I figured, you know what? Why mess with a good thing? I had two bad runs, then I had a great run with Isaac. Let's try... Ooh. Daddy long legs right off the bat. Um... Let us try to, you know, duplicate that and get another good slash interesting run going here with uh, Isaac again. So Daddy Long Legs, good item. I complained a couple of videos ago that like Daddy Long Legs never shows up for me anymore, and I guess the game heard because here we are, uh, and we do still have a D6 charged to use uh, whenever we see fit. Really, I guess. I'm not sure when I'm gonna find uh, a good time to use this. I guess on the boss would probably be the most likely scenario there. There's one more left. Daddy Long Legs, you could do me a solid here. I'd be a deeply indebted. Alright, well, fine. I'll handle it myself, asshole. Got a chest here. I was hoping that there was a half heart contained in there, actually. Lucky us. Sadly, there are too many possible locations for the secret room, so I'm probably just gonna end up going to neither of them. Uh, and maybe just seeing what, uh, what our boss has in store for us here. It's Pin. Could be awesome, could be terrible. I mean, it, it, Pin is never really that uh, difficult, but... Yeah, that's what I was wondering about right there, is if Daddy Longlegs is going to get a chance to actually hit him. And it did! And it did a ton of damage, twice actually. We get meat again, tiers plus HP up, plus damage up potentially, as many people have told me. And, uh, you know, that's a solid item. That was our first item uh, from the last run as well. So I feel everything's coming up Millhouse right now. Daddy Longlegs plus meat is a solid set of items for our first floor. And I love these items that don't really require you to be around to do damage. So we can basically just let Daddy Long Legs do its thing, and we'll just hang out. Maybe we'll get a deal with the devil. But anyway, the pressure's not on us right now. Of course, we still want to get as many good shots in as possible. I definitely want to take out uh, this guy close to that tinted rock if it's possible. Eh, it's not possible. Instead, we'll just blow it up. It's fine. We get a key out of it. Eh, it's not a great payoff. It's a payoff, though. So, you know, there is that. Daddy Long Legs, please save me. I got in a little trouble there. Uh, we do have... That was a hell of a jump on that spider there. We do have the boss room, so we'll go to that right away. Always the possibility for a deal with the devil here. If nothing else, we do have our reroll uh, exactly ready. Now, Daddy Long Legs should be able to hit the Widow now and then, at least. Or at least take out some of those, like, white nubs that I don't want to deal with. So, Widow's taking some serious damage. We'll go, obviously, for the white nubs as soon as Widow is down, which should happen, yes, right now. And I think we got a good chance here of getting a deal with the devil. We performed well on this floor. No, yes, deal with the devil. Okay, let's see what we got. Um, the Mark and Necronomica, or Book of Belial. Reroll both of those. Instead, we'll take both Grimstone and Spirit of the Night. Great items. Uh, there is an HP upgrade out here, which is why I was, I felt okay about taking uh, two of those. We're still low on health, let's, let's not uh, mince words there. We can probably go in here and, you know, survive. Spirit Heart is nice. We're gonna lose half of that on our way out, sadly. Why did I not take damage when I walked in here? Oh, because I was flying, of course. Okay. So, we'll just continue looking for our item room here. Obviously, the shop would be awesome as well, but there's nothing we can really do about that right now. Extra keys, not gonna complain. There's our shop. Can't go to it? Well, I mean, we could go to it. We have enough keys to justify it. We just don't really have enough money to purchase basically anything. Even if we did go inside. Wow, that was terrible damage on my part. Really should not be taking damage considering I've got Brimstone Spirit of the Night on the second floor. But hey, it's a learning process. We're really going to be looking for HP upgrades as we move forward here. Uh, I'm definitely going to reroll Holy Water. I consider that to be a pretty bad item. I used to kind of like Holy Water, but then someone was like, Northern Lion's Logic. Hates, um, I forget the, lemon, hates Lemon Mishap, which does a lot of damage and you can direct. Loves Holy Water, which is passive, but, you know, you know, you have no control over. So we're gonna reroll that. Uh, that's Lifesteal. We might end up having to, like, pick that up, because we're not gonna get another charge, probably. 
Not an ideal item, but who knows, it's an item that could end up saving my ass a couple of times, so we'll, we'll pick that up. Anything that gives us extra health here in the early game uh, has the potential to be useful for us. And is it just me? Like, this is an, a badass looking Isaac, at the very least. So let us check out our shop. We have enough keys to make it worthwhile. Can't really buy anything. We could buy a bomb. So that's what I'm gonna do. And we'll uh, head down to... I mean, there's a secret room possibility here. Do I really want to spend that money on the bomb and then, uh, you know, waste it here? We'll see. Luckily, we did find the secret room. We picked up nine cents as a result. We could buy the ladder now if we wanted to. That would be a pretty, pretty silly purchase considering we have Spirit of the Night. So I think it's in our best decision. Just head right down now. So that was a good reroll. Spirit of the Night and Brimstone on one reroll. Uh, I'll take it. So now we're very well set up for, uh, well, Catacombs Part 2 means we have uh, double everything on this floor, except only one shop. Brimstone's not doing as much damage as I would like right now. Uh, but, yes, we're very well set up for, for having a good run here. However, we'll pick up Kane's Eye. I kind of don't remember what this does. Uh, the downside is we really need some health. If, if I'm going to feel totally secure in this run, I'm going to need some health. Uh, and hopefully we will get those, possibly from the arcade, if we find a lot of hard drops here, we could play until we get the, um... Until we get the blood bag, which is, you know, not necessarily unlikely, but not the most likely thing to happen. Um, yeah, why not pop this open? We can afford it. We'll reroll that speed upgrade. It's the Game Kid. Game Kid might be really useful in this situation, but, uh, we're probably gonna go for a second reroll. My thinking being, uh, well, it all depends on what we get in these item rooms, I guess. So let's check out item room number one. We have Dead Bird in here. It's a, not a horrible item. It's kind of a horrible item. Uh, we'll try to reroll that as well. We might end up going with the Game Kid. Should be kind of cool, because we didn't actually... Um, what was I going to say? We haven't... Yeah, we, we used the D6 like the entire time last time. So yes, we'll take Harlequin Baby. That's a nice little, basically, damage upgrade. We will pick up this heart back here, and then probably go to the, uh, mob trap room, just to get another room where we can build our D6 charge as much as possible. Let's see what we get in here. Absolutely worth popping open. A little bit of health, just in case I take damage, which is not unlikely. And we also have, uh, an extra key. So I can't really complain about the key side of things, but that's been very good to us so far this run. Really? Are you serious? I, one brimstone shot, like, right on the chin wasn't enough to take him out. I, I can't believe that. we got like two of these guys left. Zero of these guys left. Let us leave here and now make our way down and around. Again, probably... Well, we want to we want to save a reroll for the shop as well. So it's, we got two options, basically. We could reroll Game Kid... Or we could, yeah, reroll Game Kid, take... Three options. Reroll Game Kid, take Game Kid, or just leave Game Kid and hold on to our D6. We have an interesting suite of options here. Um, I'm going to focus on just getting to the item rooms and the shops first, and we'll deal with the rest as it comes. Might want to reroll our boss room, too. Who knows? Well, that's terrible damage to take right off the bat. But we're getting a, a lot of lifesteal back, so it doesn't really matter. On that side of things, anyway. Oh, that was a dead end. Really don't want to run into dead ends right now. Uh, I want to find ourselves rooms where rerolls are potentially viable. A little bit stressed out with this run right now, but it's also, obviously, like, it's got the potential to be fantastic. Just need to make a couple of things happen in order to get to that, that point. Okay, that was exactly what I wanted there. Thank you, Daddy Longlegs. Spirit Heart doesn't hurt. Uh, you know, we probably don't need the Bloody Penny, considering we already have... Uh, da, 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 the uh, Vampire's Charm, or whatever it's called. Oh, come on! Let's see, we've got our golden chest here. Lots of keys, lots of money. So we'll pick that up. I can't believe the spider webs still get you. Even when you're flying over top of them, I guess, you know, spider webs could potentially be in the air. We do have enough bombs to open up this tinted rock. Give me the damage upgrade, please. That's my main concern right now. Brimstone's not doing as much damage as I would like. Golden chest, fine. Sad Onion, increased rate of fire. Sure, sign me up. I don't know if this even applies to Brimstone. I think it does. If nothing else, it was worth the risk for a key, even if it doesn't end up doing anything at all. And we will just pop these guys in the head. Extra key drop. A quarter, we'll reroll that. Anarchist Cookbook, kind of wish I didn't reroll the quarter now. 
And we're definitely not going to have enough rerolls to get everything we want here. I'll probably leave the game, kid. It's so tempting to roll with it. It depends actually on the shop, because if the shop gives us like Nun's Habit, Battery, something like that, then Spacebar items become more valuable. And the D6 perhaps becomes a little less valuable. We'll see though. Oh man, we're not even going to get another D6 reroll. Oh, uh, and of course we got Greed in here. Well, actually now we will get another D6 uh, charge, because we'll fight the boss. Get lots of money out of that, a couple of bombs as well. One bomb as well. So we'll fight our boss, then we'll see where the reroll is most appropriate. I would rather reroll the item roll item room than reroll the game kid. So we're gonna be fighting again this other boss that I consistently refer to as the blighted ovum, despite that not really making any sense. Uh, should be easy here. Hell of a set of chain reaction potential. These guys are dead, and this guy should be dead in a second. Too. That was a very easy one. Well, we're certainly gonna reroll the speed upgrade to get an HP upgrade, and then I guess we'll fight our second boss here. And will I go with Game Cube? Uh, again, it's the Blighted Ovum! <laughs> uh, will I end up taking the Game Kid? Interesting question. I'm not 100% sure yet. Let's see what we get from this boss. Well, we get a Tears upgrade. That's fine. I, I don't think we should take the Game Kid. I think we should hang with the D6. It's a gut decision, it might be wrong, but uh, it's what I'm going with right now. We've got Necropolis 1 and Quad Shot, which does not scale well with Brimstone, if I remember correctly. It might actually, we're, we're taking it because it might give us four times damage. It might also take four times longer to charge, but maybe that's where Sad Onion comes in, right? It also gives us a much increased rate of, of charging. We can also take Cancer, which will double the rate of our charge, presumably. If nothing else, even if it takes longer to charge, it should give us more damage as well. That's a pretty sizable amount of damage. It's nothing to sneeze at, anyway. No, Troll! Oh, the Troll Bomb actually didn't get us there. I am amazed. So, we'll just keep making our way through here. I hope I didn't screw myself with that, uh... What did I pick up? Uh, with the, uh, the Quad Shot pickup, but... Can't bring myself to reroll Quad Shot, man. Such a good item. If only we had Mom's Knife instead! Gonna try to take out these guys from afar. Binding of Isaac 2. Return of taking out the enemies from Jafar. I don't know where I was going. <laughs> I tried! The reference doesn't really make any sense at all, but it's okay. We'll check down into the right here for a secret room as well. Um, that's not what I meant. I meant right here. Let that fire, of course. While we're here, why the heck not? Nothing there. So, we'll bring our fine selves over to the right. Again, I'm, I'm getting used to this Brimstone charge. It's taken a while. I'll admit that the quad shot has clearly uh, increased our charge time. Which may, I'm not going to say it's a death sentence, but might be bad for us. Because uh, the main problem with Brimstone is already crowd control, right? Like if enemies come rushing at you, there's nothing you can do about it. Lowering the, or raising the charge time doesn't do anything to help you there. So we do have a golden key now, which we can use to access whatever we choose. Well, whatever we choose that is locked by a door, anyway. Easy enough. Still looking for our shop, as well as... Uh, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't mind finding the boss room as well, just because I, I want to, you know, ration my rerolls as is necessary. Ration my rerolls, the Northern Lion story. Well, a nice little haul there. We're doing totally fine on money. Regular chest doesn't really appeal to me. Golden chest, maybe, because I could potentially do something awesome there. We're going to get our first cube of meat. Kind of a meaningless item. But you never know. Maybe we'll get uh, a deal with the devil as well. And perhaps that deal with the devil will contain something truly amazing. Uh, I don't even know what I would want right now. The nail. If they have the nail, or I could reroll for the nail, uh, I would pick it up. They don't. Let's reroll. They have Guppy's Paw. I kind of figured a Guppy item was going to come in here. Guppy's Paw is not worth it for us right now. If we had more health, for sure, because then we could put ourselves in permanent Spirit Hearts only. And uh, that's a great state to be in if you get the Polaroid. If you have like 15 Spirit Hearts in the Polaroid, you've got a, a lot of health moving forwards towards the end of the game. Well, sadly, we are not going to get a reroll. Just run into one of the spikes. Thank you. Uh, for the shop here, so hopefully we run into some good items. Blue candle. Yeah. Sorry, uh, now we will lose our 
D6, we'll... Eh, we don't really need to buy anything else. Let's examine quickly uh, possible secret room locations. The blue candle's so useful. Not just for the damage up, but for the ability to block projectiles. That's shitty. Uh, the ability to block projectiles as it will uh, once we get to that Isaac and Blue Baby fight. It's going to be incredibly useful in that situation. So we got a nice little combination of items here. The, uh, the other thing is that it's going to be really useful for us uh, in... You know, the crowd control situation I talked about before. If enemies try to rush you down, well, now we can finally stop them. Nothing here really appeals to me. Tarot card might be useful. Probably worth five cents, but you know, we'll just make our way through here anyway. Drop some candles in here. Again, we'll drop some candles in there. I hope we don't end up fighting Mask of Infamy. Oh, this is going to be an XL floor, isn't it? Alright, well, that's fine. We do have uh, two keys. More than two keys really is the more correct way to put that, because we have a lot. Um, so we can definitely afford to, to go to all the rooms here. Remote detonator is pretty bad, but it does give us five bombs just for picking it up. So I would be remiss if I just left it there. This doesn't feel like a long floor. This feels like a short floor. Maybe it's not an XL floor. Sometimes I have trouble keeping track, you know, in my old age. Get another sense here. Sucks that that shop was so bad. And now we're tearing through rooms as quickly as I would like. Can't really do anything with that one. Um, yeah, we should be able to take out these guys quite quickly and easily. Oh, almost took damage there. Thank you, Daddy Longlegs, saving my life a little bit. And if we come across the boss room soon, I'll probably just go to it. We've already been to, like, every room on this floor uh, that would really offer us much in the way of compensation or, like, nice items for us to potentially serve as upgrades moving forward. Daddy Longlegs is kind of stealing my, my thunder here sometimes. You can take out that last one. doesn't bother me. Let's see if we get... Ah, there we go. Boss room. Probably the worst brimstone shot I've ever done. Got three more. Zero more. That's how quickly that can work. Let us go fight whoever our boss is here. It's Mom, I have not been keeping track of this at all. So we're going to, like, alternate, basically. First one's going to be uh, Brimstone. Second one is going to be... First Footfall, I should say, is going to be Brimstone. Second one is going to be Candle. And this should uh, adequately give us time to charge each. Oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> Brimstone's taking too long to charge. Anyway, so there's our tears up. We're doing very quickly. Moon card could be useful. Take the Polaroid, we have to abandon Cancer, sadly. And down to the next floor. Not feeling super good <laughs> about my health situation right now. That's something I'd like to work on. Hopefully we get some health upgrades or the nail at some point in the near future. Otherwise, we could find ourselves basically fucked. I'm not going to mince words on that one. Three hearts is not going to be enough to get us through the Cathedral and Chest. Might be enough to get us through the Womb. Might as well use the moon card here. Eh, eh, didn't really turn out for the best, did it? Uh, just a slot machine there. I could have played it, who knows, maybe we win some spirit arts or something. Not worth my time at this point. Just get a little money. This is a big floor. I would love to play the Demon Judgment. Sadly, uh, we don't really have the health to make that a prudent decision right now. It really, I can't stress how long this brimstone takes to charge. That quad shot may end up being what bites me in the ass, but also, you know, just the fact that I haven't gotten any HP upgrades at all since uh, taking that sweet deal with the devil. I've gotten one HP upgrade since then, I guess. Since that sweet series of deals with the devil. Uh, that's going to hurt me, but that's the kind of thing you can't really plan for, you know? When, the, when those risks present themselves, you got to weigh the chances of something terrible happening with something awesome happening. Well, we get more spirit hearts here anyway. Really hoping for some more permanent health upgrades, but we're on to the womb part two. Again, quite quick. <laughs> I'll give it that. This Daddy Long Legs, Quad Shot, Brimstone combination. Blue Baby Soul is okay. Uh, but we can't take it. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, we, we've got a lot of damage here. Which is awesome. Obviously, we're struggling in some other ways. Which is not so awesome. But for now... I mean, I'm, I'm not feeling confident... I feel like uh, someone with a terminal disease, but it's like a celebrity with a terminal disease. They're like, okay, maybe I'm dying a little bit before my time, but I had a pretty good run here. This is a little bit of fun. More than the average Isaac run, for sure. I'm Swayzeing right now. I apologize if the, if the family of, you know, Patrick Swayze is watching this right now. Uh, if so, and you own the rights to Dirty Dancing 3, Havana Mornings, uh, you know, 
I've been running a little bit, so I, I should be in Swayze's mid-80s peak physical condition soon. The hair thing's gonna be an issue, but I would love to, to play some kind of role in that, namely the starring role. Uh, so, you know, just hit me up. You know where to find me. YouTube.com slash SwayzeFan69 slash Ray William Johnson. Uh, we're gonna pick up both of these here, though. See, we got lucky. Basically, there was a tinted drop down here. Concealed that we did not see. We're gonna save our death card. Uh, probably use that uh, as late as possible. I do want to drop some candles in here. Don't ever think. Just because I'm not dropping candles, it means I don't want to drop candles. Sometimes life gets in the way, you know? Maybe I can't drop as many candles as I like. Maybe I'm not as young as I used to be. Maybe my ball sack, you know, gets some wrinkles in it and you can't iron them out anymore. Shit like that happens when you reach the ripe old age of 23. 23 and a half, actually. Um, I'm gonna pop this open. There we go, we will, uh, there's our ball string, finally! So I can get off this really weird Swayze-esque tangent of death and despair that I've been on. I don't know if that's the proper use of the term Swayze-esque. Is there a proper use of the term Swayze-esque? We're actually gonna take, uh, the world card, because we're gonna use that on the chest or the cathedral. Depending on how long I'm alive for. So we're gonna get ready to drop brimstone and candle on these bitches at all times. We're just gonna, like, be brimstone candling all night. That should've... I mean, we're not doing as much damage as we did last run. But last run! Level 4 Meat Boy, like, quad shot. We had a lot of great things going in our favor. That was a really bad use of every resource that I had right there. To take these zombies out. Again, I can't stress the length of time on this brimstone charge. It's a serious pain in the ass. Harlequin Baby, you can do it. I don't want to waste a Brimstone Charge. Harlequin Baby! So close. Daddy Long Legs, please! I really don't want to waste a Brimstone Charge. There we go. And that was more damage than usual. So we should have continuously firing bombs. I think when I use the candle, it actually cancels my Brimstone Charge. So the correct order here is Brimstone Candle. Not Candle Brimstone. Good to know, moving forwards here. Going up to the Cathedral. Curse of Darkness, so we're definitely gonna not use the World card here, even if it would end up saving our lives. Or even if it would've, would have ended up helping us out. That's a weird sentence. If one of my students had written that on a paper... Well, you know, they were like Korean six-year-olds, so I probably would've given them like a, an A+, plus, but... I mean, maybe I would've shown my co-teachers have been like, Does this make sense to you? Cause it looks a little silly to me. Daddy Longlegs, greatest uh, friend in the world right now. Thank you very much. Uh, I really do not want to... Okay, that was close. Boss room, anytime now. We'll try down. Well, we do have a tinted rock here. I don't care about wasting a bomb to get it. That's, I think, pretty reasonable considering I have 29 of them. And I use zero against Mom's heart. Well, golden chest. Contains Mom's Pearl. Well, we can't do anything about that. Big old waste of resources. This one was a little bit better to us. And we're fighting Isaac! Jesus. Fast run. Do we have, like, any chance? I don't know. Maybe. Shitty thing about this is that Daddy Longlegs, I think, only shows up once. Like, it shows up right at the start of the fight, and then it's like, Ah, I can't. It's my own son! Um, we're not doing so hot here. I'm, I'm taking a ton of damage. I need to use Candle more, but I swear to god, every time I use Candle, it takes a Brimstone Charge. And the Brimstone's my main damage dealer here. But we're not in a good state. In fact, we're in quite a bad state. The 20 minutes to get to the chest is something. Or sorry, 20 minutes to get to the Cathedral is something. We still have a chance here. Let's try to time everything appropriately. It's going alright. There needs to be like a... An adverb for all right. Oh, that's not good. Like, it's going all rightly. Ah! <laughs> I just, I didn't know what to do about all those shots. That was a good run, though. I had a lot of fun with that. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Things are going all rightly. I'm going to make it happen.